Let's talk about methods of demagnetization. Okay, we have talked about this before. You can demagnetize stuff by heating and hammering. Okay, you should put it when lying in east west direction. Okay, lie the magnet in the east west direction and then you hammer it vigorously or you heat it vigorously. Okay. The atoms of the magnet will vibrate vigorously when they are heated or hammered, causing the magnetic domains to lose their alignment. The magnetism becomes weaker or it will disappear. The magnetism can be destroyed if the magnet is heated, red hot, and allowed to cool while lying in the east west direction. However, is there an easier way or a less barbaric way to demagnetize a magnet? Of course, there is. It's by electricity. Now, this is a demagnetization using an alternating current. A lot of you may not exactly why it's alternating current because we learned a lot about direct current in the past few chapters. Okay? Direct current means the current just flows in one direction. One direction. However, alternating current okay, is actually why it's used commonly in our plus so power points. Be an alternating current means the current actually moves front and back. Okay, for example, a direct current would just go straight and go around the coil and then come back to its uh, source. However, the alternating current would go one way, go the other way, go one way to go the other way, go the other way, go the other way and it will keep changing its direction. So even here, we go one way, go one way, okay, and go, it will keep changing its direction. Okay, now this alternating current is now used for demagnetization. So, Plug it in first, make the solenoid like from previous, from the previous slide. However, now this part over here is a low voltage alternating current supply. This current now goes back and forth instead of in one direction only. Now, insert your magnet into the solenoid. Just insert it in, but don't need to touch the solenoid. Now, withdraw the magnet slowly in an east-west direction, far away from the solenoid. Maybe I, I say about three meters while the current is flowing means the current is going to right it's going back from back from then you slowly withdraw the magnet while the current is going back from back from back okay the magnet in the solenoid will be magnetized one way then opposite then one way opposite one way opposite so it will sort of confuse the magnet seems as though the solenoid is trying to magnetize it one way and then the other way one way and then the other way one way and then the other way quickly Okay, so as the magnetism is withdrawn, this magnetism will become weaker and weaker until the magnet is completely demagnetized. So that's the demagnetization using alternating current. Okay, let's talk about some questions. Example one, magnetism. State the difference between an unmagnetized bar and a magnetized bar. I'll give you three seconds. You can pause the video if you like. Okay. So now what's the answers? An unmagnetized bar has no magnetic effects. The magnetic domains in an unmagnetized bar are in random directions. Like this. However, a magnetized bar has magnetic effects of north and south poles at the ends. Remember you must say the effects first. And this is because the magnetic domains, all these magnetic domains, are aligned in the same direction or at least most of them are aligned in the same direction. Now, let's talk about example two, a question number two. Magnetism, explain why every magnet has a maximum strength. Again, to try to answer, you can pause it if you like. Now, when all the magnetic domains in the magnet are pointing in the same direction, it is magnetically saturated and it cannot be any stronger, which means that there is a finite amount of magnetic domains which are represented by these arrows okay once all of these arrows are in the same direction that is the magnet that is the maximum strength of the magnet already it cannot get any stronger <clears throat> the question what will happen to the magnetic domains of a magnet placed in a solenoid carrying an alternating current as it is slowly withdrawn okay this um it's a per this is a question based on demagnetization. So the direction of, of the magnetic domains of the magnet will be mixed up, causing the magnet to lose its magnetism. Now, example number four. They want you to mark the resulting poles of the steel bar. As 
Okay. Now, this bar over here will be stroked this way. This south pole will stroke over here and then lift off. Over here, um, a north pole will be created. Now, this bar over here, this north pole will be scraped over and lifted off. Therefore, the opposite pole will be formed. Therefore, a south pole will be created here. Okay, so some key concepts. The methods for magnetizing a magnet include stroking a steel bar with a permanent magnet. Strong magnets are usually made by putting a piece of magnetic material inside a solenoid carrying a direct current. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the um, stroking way and the electric way. To demagnetize a magnet, we can use um, three different methods. The first two are physical. You can heat the magnet and hammer the magnet in an east-west direction. Lastly, the electrical magnet is you must put it within a solenoid with an alternating current. Then you, then you, then you slowly withdraw the magnet in an east-west direction as well. <clears throat>